What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Josh and I'm here back with another haircut tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be giving my guy like a high fade, taking the top a little shorter and styling his hair to the front. So the first thing I'm going to do is saturate my client's hair with some water to get more control of the hair and as you guys can see I put a towel around his neck. You don't want the water dripping all down your client's neck. But the first thing I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to use my index finger with my middle finger and I'm just going to use that to lift the hair up to get control of the hair. And I'm going to cut and I'm going to start my first guide and then I'm going to use that guide all the way around the head. So if you guys can see, I'm uh, cutting the hair to match that guide all the way around the head. So, you know, we're going to make the whole head even. We're not leaving like any sides longer or shorter. Everything is all even and we're just going to style it to the front and we're going to do something a little different to the front later in the video. Right after I'm done cutting my clients here, I'm going to go in and blow dry it. We're not going to be blow drying it in any particular direction. I'm just going to, you know, blow dry and messing it up a little bit because later we're going to come back and style it. So to start off this haircut, I'm going to start by taking out some bulk and I'm going to go in with my number two guard with the lever all the way open. And I'm just going to go up and just cut until the, I hit the parado ridge and I'm going to leave that hair thicker because I don't want to go up too high. I want to preserve some hair for later in the haircut. So right after I go in and debunk, I'm going to come back with my Babyliss trimmers and set in my ball line. We're giving him a high fade, so we're not going to be setting in the ball line super low. Um, Usually like I would like with my drop fades in the back, I would drop it low. We're not going to be dropping it low. We're going to keep it kind of high to give it that high fade effect. So right after setting in that guideline, I'm going to come back with my cordless wall seniors with the lever all the way open with no guard on going up about a half an inch, keeping the width really consistent all the way around and staying parallel to the first guideline that we made. And right after setting that guideline in, we're going to drop down and close the lever halfway and just start up under the line and flick up to the line and adjusting the lever as we need, you know, flicking the line out because sometimes closing it halfway just doesn't get it sometimes you have to play with your lever I say that all the time so just pay attention Now that we've taken out that guideline, I'm going to go in with my number one guard with the lever all the way closed. I'm going up about another half an inch. And like I said, keeping the width consistent all the way around the head. So to take that guideline out, you're going to put on your half guard and close the lever all the way and start up under the line and flick up to the line. Just how we did with the no guard guideline. For my next guard line, I'm going to start with my one and a half guard. And with this guard, I'm going to start my fading down process. I'm, I'm going to go from the number one and a half down to the one guard open to blend that line out. So 
So right here I have my number one guard on with the lever all the way open. And we're just going to hit that dark line that's left right there under that main dark line if you guys can see it. This area is a really tight area so you have to be very careful when you're using like so many guards in one small tight area. And as you guys can see, all that bulk that's left right there at the Parada Ridge, we're going to start by attacking it with the number three guard and we're going to fade down from there. And we're going to be fading down for this process too. Right after I use the number three guard, I drop down to the number two guard with the lever all the way open. Just hitting that same dark area right there until it softens up, until we see it disappear. I'm going to go in with the number two guard open. Then I'm going to drop down with the number two guard all the way closed. And then I'm going to come back with my one and a half guard again with the lever all the way open. And just dropping down to it all the way closed until I see this fade starts to blend well. For the rest of the bolt, we're going to be doing some clipper over comb work. And this is where you can have more control over what you are actually cutting. When it gets to like the hair around the Prada Ridge, you, you don't want to use many guards because you might end up pushing the hair up too much. You want to start getting more control over what you're cutting. That's why I'm doing the clipper over comb technique. So right here, we're just going to run through the guards one more time. Um, not necessarily like every guard, but we're going to be using the guards that I need in certain areas basically the areas that i think um need to be worked on we um kind of size up to see what guard we need to use for that area and then we just do some detail work until we get it blended out um really you're not going to see a lot of the fade until you put the line up on there that's going to really show a lot of your imperfections and that's where we're going to go and do some more detail work Once I've cut the top and fade the sides, I kind of get a good idea of where this haircut is going. So I go in and start doing some more work so I can better um, take more control of the actual overall look of this haircut. Right here, I'm cutting the front a little bit more because it's kind of too long. So right here, we're going to move on to the facial hair. We're going to be cutting this beard down with a one and a half guard to get it more of a decent look. You know, we don't want it too scruffy. After knocking the beard down, we're going to come in and we're going to just blend the beard right into the fade to give it a finishing look. Now it's time to do the lineup. I'm going to be using my Babbage Gold Effect Skeleton Trimmers for his lineup. This lineup is going to come out super dope, so I'm going to sit back and let you guys watch this lineup. Just take this haircut to a whole nother level. One tip for you guys, whenever you're lining that hair that um, flows along the jawline, make sure you ask your clients how far down or how far up they want it. Never bring it too close to the actual jawline because it'll make your whole beard um, look, you know, weird. It'll change the shape of the beard. So right here, I'm just going to use my gold effect shaver to add another transition to this fade, you know, to give it more of a finishing look. So right here, we're going to be applying some styling pomade to get more control of the hair and make it flow the way he wants it to. It's kind of like a messy look, but it flows to the front. And before you finish off any haircut, make sure you guys go do more detail work in areas that you think look better in the fade. YouTube, this was the before. If you guys watched it all the way up until this point, I really appreciate you guys. You watched me transform him step by step, and we made him look like a new man. But YouTube, without further ado, this is the cut.
let me know what you guys think about this transformation in the comments make sure you guys leave a like and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and you got the notification bell on so you don't miss out on any new videos and make sure you follow me on instagram at josh x barber it's your boy josh and i'm out